is going on, everyone? Well, <laughs> welcome to the Fashion After Hours podcast. I got we got a whole we got a full room today. Full we got room. a full room today. We got Chris, wow. Frankie, Malcolm. Wow, and, Malcolm and decided to show up. Yeah, wow, Malcolm decided to work Run today. Applause, baby. Malcolm. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Today's yeah. today's episode is about Club Loose Tech Inspection. Yeah, the the YouTube video. If you guys haven't tuned in yet, check out the YouTube video on our YouTube channel at Faction Motorsports. Uh, we go kind of over the entire rule book. The entire rule book, and they tech Frankie texts my car. It fails clearly um, for obvious reasons. You'll find those out in the video. But uh, we decided to go in depth about it on this podcast. Yeah, get down to the nitty gritty. Nitty gritty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chris has some things he wants to dive into. Yeah, we'll maybe talk about some you, of your experiences. You said you did, but I don't know what you were talking about. I was just speaking generally. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, Frankie, lead us off here. What, what do we? What do you want to go into first? I don't know. You want to just go through the rule book, like, like we did on the video? I guess. But now I can like I have a chance to talk about all this bullshit that I've gone through and well, how you guys should not do things. Well, let's go. Let's do, let's say this first. How many tech inspections have you failed at Cold Blues? I, I said it on the video three. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. For the first one. Let's hear them. The first one, okay, I I can honestly say I was like brand spanking new to drifting. I was with you the one time, Chris. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, no, I had an no, RB20 S13.4. That's an S13 coupe with a S14 front. It was absolutely ew. hideous. It had an RB20 in it. It drove like shit. It rode like shit. It had nothing inside of it. It sucked. It absolutely sucked. Ew. And it failed. I, yeah, it was gross. <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, no, I, it failed. That was the first time. It failed for <laughs> everything. Just like, yo, this thing's hideous. Get this thing out of here. <laughs> it failed. It, it was. It was like everything. Why did it dude. fail? No, no, no. Coolant overflow. The tie down. No was a, coolant overflow. Yeah, the tie down you was a piece like of this? shit. Water bottle. I, I, yeah, we used. <laughs> oh, I made one with work. a Snapple bottle. Uh, after oh, the I glass failed. ones. Nice. No, no. Oh um, yeah, yeah. The glass. <laughs> one. That's actually ideal. Use a Henny bottle too. <laughs> that's perfect. That's kind of. But uh, no, no. I failed for a bunch of shit then. Uh, I went again with an S13 coupe that had a crack in the windshield. That's when I learned about the crack in the windshield thing. God this, forbid you just read the rule book. This could have all been yeah. avoided if I just fucking read the rule book instead of being an ignorant kid and being like, yeah, I just, I mean, the rest of it was okay if I just went over it one time. You're trying to speed run drifting. <laughs> like, like so dumb. I don't know why. So you just pay... You just pay 150 bucks to learn a new rule. You know what? I just, I just love club loose and like. Jesus, what? Well, but I mean, after, after you know, three times, like. You got it right. Got it. You what know? was the third time? The third time it was hot moves. No. Yeah, it was hot moves because it was hot as shit. And guess what? <laughs> I almost got sent home again. For what? Because I was wearing a tank top. Yeah. So what'd but, you do? But I had pants on and a tank top, and uh, I got on on grid like by by like a, a a shot in the dark. Like I got on grid, and politely, uh, I don't know the names of the grid workers or who was working at the what time. What year was it? Twenty fifteen or something. All right. Um, twenty sixteen. Were they 17? screaming at you or talking to you? They they talked to me. No, so it wasn't Dave and Jay. Well, like <laughs> okay. I, I was just doing backtrack. I was just doing normal C group stuff. Like I had a single cam. Like I clearly look like a deer in headlights. And y you know, he was like, "I you really shouldn't be letting you on the track, but it's like a hundred degrees <laughs> out today, and like I totally get it and everything. But please, next time, refrain from wearing a, a tank top. Never wore a tank top ever since. I actually dr try to dress up like Frank. But you didn't like fail tech that time. No, the car was fine. Oh, okay. But I thought I was gonna get sent home because of the tank top. Technically, you you didn't. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you didn't do everything right, yeah. so. <laughs> um, what's your worst tech story? Yeah, why, Frank? why, why are you always you, just? Nitty or did you always with, pass? Because you're were you always just a always yeah. Pass. You were definitely an overachiever. <laughs> I don't think I break. ever remotely failed or even came close to it. Well, wow. if I was gonna come close to it, it would probably be because of <laughs> harnesses or something like that. Chris is just going on TikTok <laughs> right now. <laughs> He's really uh, just like, I don't give a fuck about you, Frankie. <laughs> I'm just referencing the time that me and Carl failed tech at Club Loose. Oh, you're looking, you're going through the footage. Did you ever fail tech, once. Chris? It was with the Sylvia. Just once. First time with the Sylvia. I guess I'll bring it up. Uh, 
Yeah, my, my I think my harnesses were wrapped wrong once. On the harness oh, well, bar. Okay, like uh, so yeah, you should that's... definitely double check that. I think I mentioned that in the video. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. I didn't you show you how to you do it. Reference. Reference. You don't know how to wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe do a little tutorial one day when you decide to get your. We car should together. have fucking show that in that video. Yeah, you idiot. Whatever. Come yeah, on. you were all out of steam. And yeah, we were out of steam were, by that point. Yeah, you were flying. Because that really is something that should be noted. That, that's a pretty important okay, thing. Let us know in the comments if you want to see that in in a video. In reference of Carl's first failed tech inspection, mine first tech inspection was also failing. Fa failing? I also failed the tech inspection at the same time. What did you fail for? Helmet. 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 Funny I remember. Story, uh oh. I actually went to Frankie and his friends if they had an extra helmet either for sale or to borrow. Damn. And I ended up talking to Miyagi. Did he give you one? No. He said, <laughs> he said fuck you. <laughs> what the He was like, fuck? who the fuck is this guy? He's That's never going to work for me. This, now look at you guys. You're best friends. Okay. But, uh, um, well, if you didn't watch the video, watch the video, because I don't think we're going to go through this entire thing, but I, I will go through some of the, uh, some of the major points. There's a lot of shit here, though, man. It was, I, like, was 2016. I love, yeah, I think it was. I, I love when we went through that rule book on the video just because, like, it's it's right there. Like, it really is all fucking there. I, I think you said it there's took a checklist. long for someone to make a video about that. I think, I think you yeah. have a checklist in there, too, right? There's a checklist. Yeah, there's a yeah, checklist there. in yeah, here. That's fucking awesome. These guys should definitely print these out. Um, Yo, Club Loose should put that video on their uh, website. Yeah, Club Loose, come on now. You gotta throw oh. that video up on your website. They don't want that guy's ugly car on there, that blue. Side note, uh, Ethan is working on some cars out in the shop, so if you hear anything in the background, that's what's going on right now. Yeah. All right, uh, vehicle requirements, general safety. Um, this section is pretty much just about, you know, make sure you're bringing a car that actually works like a car should work, um, like brakes, suspension, um, stuff like that. Potential issues, take care of that stuff before you get to the track. Uh, also covers everything that's loose in the car must be re must be removed. We all saw that in the video with Carl's back seat. I, I dare you to check it today. I dare. <laughs> you. Yeah, you come I prepared now. I got you really fucking embarrassed. I was I was so embarrassed. I was like, look at this, look at this idiot with all this garbage in his car. I mean, first of all, you shouldn't have anything on the floor of your car anywhere. Anyway, like you fucking slob. Just oh, I never do. Yeah, just like clean that shit up anyway. But sometimes if you're, if, you work and you just toss it in there. No, you're a slob. All right. So, but if you're going to the track, you really shouldn't have anything floating around because what if that thing just finds its way under your brake pedal? You know? Whoa! Whoa. See ya! <laughs> I can't stop. <laughs> you go to hit the brake pedal and boom, that doesn't work, and then you hit the tires. So that's not good. Tools too. Take the tools out of your. Take the jacks out of your car. You know how many. <laughs> you know how I many people probably go on the track with jack stands in their back? Yeah, my, my the back shit's seat? feeling slow today. I don't know. <laughs> that shit would leave up. That shit will fuck up a quarter real quick. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like in a 240, if you have no panels in the back and you have a jack stand back there. Ask us how many times we had a jack in the back of a car that needed an alignment. Oh, a <laughs> jack? How about, how about two, two spare sets of tires, wheels, a jack? Jack stands, tools, a bag of tools the size of a desk. Wait, Daryl. Daryl, Daryl, one time. <laughs> Everyone does it. Yeah, a, a friend of mine would. Like, he fuck. He doesn't drive the car on the street, so like he, whenever he br brings it to the track, he'll put the wheels in the car. One day he's like, "Dude, the car feels kind of grippy. Like it's kind of heavy in the back." Opens no the trunk, moves? two fucking two tires bodies. in the back. Oh, tires. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. what? Wait, what? Yeah. No, but yeah, how are you gonna come to an alignment with like eighty pounds in your trunk? That'll affect the alignment, and then you take it out, and it's completely different. I guess people think it doesn't affect the alignment. I, I don't know what they think. But, yeah, you don't want to do that. So that that rule goes for alignments as well. Take everything out of your car, please. Um, if you don't, please, we'll charge you. Please. So it doesn't even matter to me. Yep, um, $45. Yeah, is it $45? Something, 30, 30 or 30 $45, or $45 something like that. If you leave shit in your car, like if you leave shit, like a, we have to take it out. If you leave wheels and tires and a jack in your car, I'm charging you to take it out. Because why the hell am I doing this? So that's how that works. Why am I doing this? <laughs> fire extinguishers. Make sure you got fire extinguishers. I mean, that should be pretty obvious. I uh, we made that one clear. You need a metal yeah. bracket. That one is, uh, like, the amount of times... I think that was an addition they added on there. No way. That I've... I Because I think one of the times we went, I was like, oh, I have a fire extinguisher. We're good. It has a mount. And then I went there 
I think that might have been with the RB. Mm -hmm. um, and they were like, you need a metal bracket. I've never heard of the metal bracket before I then. I never heard of the metal bracket either. So you ever get you ever see the people when it's like a worm it's worm clamped on? I'm like, how do yeah. you get that off? Would you gotta fucking carry an eight mil with you? <laughs> <laughs> and be like, yeah, we got a fire. <laughs> yeah. How does how the sound go? How the sound go? Yeah. 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 Hold on, it's on clockwise. <laughs> <laughs> you really saw that at the track before? Yeah. yeah. You don't ever see that? It's like worm clamped to that the That should eight. definitely fail. How the fuck do you get that off? You don't. It's just for show? Wait, They're just moving. not thinking, you know They're what I mean? They're just not thinking, <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fucking guy. Yep. <laughs> the worm plant just... Too slow. <laughs> too slow. I mean, usually... Slow. Usually when, uh, when my car catches fire, uh, I rip the whole bracket out. What the fuck? I mean, this guy just works out so fucking much. Dude. <laughs> yeah, so but I don't know. Uh, my tricep. <laughs> <laughs> I wake, wake up every day at 5 a.m. Where's the fire? I wake up... <laughs> Mark the time. Um, I wake up every day at 5 a.m. What was I going to say? Oh, but i that's because I had a plastic bracket. Yeah. So when I'm, my car would be on fire, I would grab the fire extinguisher and rip it out because I'm panicking. <laughs> and it would just come right out because it was plastic. If I had a metal one, it would take me a minute. <laughs> Personally, I okay, like, I, I, tech varies from location to location, right? And uh, I'm so sorry, but if you can hear that, Ethan is angle grinding I something. I can hear it. Even. Uh, probably not, but whatever. I just wanted to acknowledge that Ethan's doing work. But um, <laughs> tag varies from location to location, and some places allow a plastic bracket still. I was drifting, and I had a plastic bracket, and the fire extinguisher mcyeeted itself <laughs> out of the bracket. <laughs> And I'm watching this thing now, so so aside from now, I'm not my focus is now lost. So I'm looking in front of me. I'm looking at the right, and I'm looking at this fire extinguisher, just fucking <laughs> woo, fucking in the passenger seat. Okay. Like you know, get a metal bracket. I like it, and it oh. and it's got a nice mechanism on it to like. Tsh. You ever have a fire extinguisher go off in the car? What? No, I've actually Wait, never shot a fire extinguisher works. before. <laughs> <laughs> have you? How do you do this? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> hey, pla probably the plastic bracket, I guess, or something. Oh, something like that. Those instant? plastic brackets are really bad, man. They're really bad. That, that's really why that rule. Bad, that's man. why that rule's in there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I will throw really something bad, at you. Man. <laughs> They're really bad, dude. No, they are. I mean, that's I, again, I mean, like, the metal one is just sweet, dude. It, it clicks out really nice, like. That shit will go off and. You won't know what happened. <laughs> that shit would scare the Your fuck whole vision out of is me. just white. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, it's you like just flashbang it, yourself. It goes off and it's like a flashbang. You just, <laughs> everything gone. You're in pitch black. Damn, you're like, cleaning what that shit is going on. Oh, cleaning that shit up probably sucks. Yeah, yeah. you can't really get it perfectly clean. Right? What is the texture that leaves? Like fucking powder. powder. I've never, chalky. I've never shot. Chalky. One. Luckily, I was in a parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> in the middle of the night. And we're just drifting. Damn, this shit is sick. Got, everything's blacked out. I'm like, whoa! <laughs> I'm hit the brakes. I'm like, what's going on? Dude. <laughs> Start to get your vision back. Holy what? shit, what happened? What was that? I was like, I didn't know something could break in a car that would do that. <laughs> Are you sure that wasn't a flashback? <laughs> Dude, it's crazy. I was like, He's talking wow. about getting his hearing back and shit. <sighs> that, was, that was one of the craziest moments I ever had inside a car. That. Give us another one. Another one? Imagine okay. that happened on the highway. Yeah, get, give us another. I got another one, and it was give on the highway. <laughs> oh fuck! This is the only other time where my vision pretty much blacked out while driving, and I and it felt weird. What? You didn't drink enough water that day or something? No. <laughs> I was driving home from New York City, and we're on the. I wasn't driving, and we're driving uh, on the Washington George Washington Bridge, and um, at the lower level, and Ooh. then all of a sudden. Literally, all of a sudden, same thing. All of a sudden, it, was just, it just gets black. Something just hits the car, and we cannot see anything for like a good one to two solid seconds. Oh, Complete, no. can't see anything. We're like, whoa, what the fuck? And then it's gone, and there's shit, like things just flying and hitting the car, and we're like, what? what's going on right now? I thought the br I thought we got attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I thought we got attacked. Nah. I was like, I was like, yep, I was waiting for this day. I was like, they hit the Why bridge. Why were you waiting? I'm always waiting for that bridge to get hit. I'm like, here we go again. And, and I'm on it, of course. Unlucky me. And then things are like hitting the car and everything. I'm like, what the fuck? And then it stops. And we keep driving. 
And uh, we get to the other side. We pull over because I was like, dude, something. Whatever happened was bad. Your car is <laughs> definitely fucked up. So we pull over. And there's other people pulled over, too. And we're walking around. We're like, what happened? And, and someone goes, I think, an, I think a mattress just flew off someone's roof. Mm-hmm. And it, that's what it was. The foam and cotton? Everything. The mattress came off the roof of the car, blew up. And wood, it, everything was it hit, everything. It hit the bridge. It must have hit the bridge. And like, poof! Oh, and like I don't know piñata. what blacked us out, but it was probably like part of the material or something. But it was like it happens. It happens so fast. That, that sounds like, you horrifying. You didn't even realize what was going on. And uh, wait, you got out of your car on the GW? No, we got past. We're in Jersey, and then we pull over right after. Oh, and people are pulled over. Because they, they're probably like, what, what happened? Dude, I thought we got bombed. <laughs> I was like, that's it. That was the only other Frankie's time. like, this is it. I'm being buried in my S13. Yeah. They finally hit the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> they finally hit that bridge. So that was the uh, that was the only other time. Like, my vision completely went black while driving. I was like, what's going on? That's scary. The, the fire extinguisher is really scary, too. Just remember, if everything goes black for a minute... It's okay. You probably just Either forgot to use that metal bracket. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mattress or a fire extinguisher. <laughs> All right. So what else we got to cover here? <laughs> uh, make sure no fluids are leaking out of your car. Come on, guys. We really got to go over that. Yeah, we do. Yo, yeah. I, I thought of something on my way here, actually. You said, oh, you didn't take any notes. Man, fuck you. I had something on my brain. <laughs> I just got it. Okay. It's okay. Like, here's kind of just, I feel like a rule of thumb. Okay. Like, if you have to question it. It most likely is not good. Yeah, should I fix that? Yeah, should I? You know what? You that, think they'll check? You think they're? <laughs> that's that's my that's a that's my favorite one. You think they're gonna check if they? You just, think Hector's gonna see that? Just fix that <laughs> shit, dude. Like, if I what? put a sticker over this crack, you think? <laughs> yeah, I, I made a reference to that in the video. I've seen that before. Like, I've probably like a, done it before, so that's fine. You're a, you're a criminal. Like five minutes, you're so. a criminal. You're a criminal. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I thought of that on the way here. What do you say? It only drips every five minutes. Yeah, it's not <laughs> dripping every five minutes. It's like a slow leak. It's like one drop every five minutes. Yeah. yeah, you fucking jokers will sit in your car and probably clock how long it takes for a drip to to drip down instead of just change that o that o ring on your. All right, we get to the track at power uh, steering <laughs> line. Get to the track at five. Uh, all right. Get tech at five ten. That means I got to I'll wipe it. Twenty. I'll wipe it. I'll go <laughs> to the tech drips again. <laughs> <laughs> I got extra so I could top it off midday. By the time it blows off completely, it'll be over. The day will be over. Yeah. <laughs> do you really want to be that guy that's on the track leaking oil over the track? Dude. And you do the whole lap? I would hate to be that guy. It's never happened to me. Knock on fucking wood. But, like, it never... Like, ah, oh, they got to clean Josh it Denise up. Josh has a funny story about that. And they what happened to him? What, what happened to him, you know? Uh, Special Stage East, final bout. Somebody leaked uh, oil over the track. And then Josh washed out, and then, was it? No, James washed out, <clears throat> and Josh went right into his door. Damn. Oh, yeah, I think I do remember that. Ruined a car. <laughs> Fuck. Because you didn't want to make sure your car wasn't leaking. Accidents do Yeah, accidents happen, happen but if your car's leaking and you go to the track. Like, purposefully leaking. Yeah, then you're, like, then no you're an way. asshole. Yeah, then There's you're no dead. way around that. But accidents do happen. Guys, make sure you got your heat shields around your brake master and clutch master cylinders if your exhaust is on that side. Because that is one of, that was definitely one of the major things people fail for. Yeah. yeah. Also, if you're going to do this, I'm not saying you should do this, but, you know, sometimes you got access to a license plate. A license plate is not a good heat shield for, and here's the reason why. That coating, that that paint, Ooh. that yellow on a New Jersey or wherever the fuck you're from. Is it flammable? It's flammable. It it Whoops. will burn. Um, I've I've had to. I I think one of my BS fixes was because I, I failed for that. I angle grinded the whole plate oh till it was shiny. God, it was actually my plate. It was actually Chris's license. The plate. shit people will go to just just to save twenty. I wasn't going home. I wanted to drift. I had nothing else there. I fucking did that. Fuck it. But you know, it's flammable. Just so you so know. So what they told you that. Yeah, they were like, "Look, Wait. that that that'll work. Just 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 angle grind it off." I don't think it was at Club Boost. I honestly oh. think it was at Pocono Raceway. You had oh. an angle um, grinder at the track? No, there was a guy next to me oh. that had one. Actually, he, he was so polite about it too. He was like, "Dude, you got to grind that off, man. I got a grinder. All the stuff's in the back." I guess you need to get a new plate. Uh, that's from my old Z. It's all right. It's just a federal offense. All right, moving on to number <laughs> three: coolant overflow required on all cars. So you can't use a Hennessy bottle. Don't. 
No Hennessy. As long, unless unless it's Hennessy White. You could use a Hennessy White bottle. Oh. oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you really can't use a bottle or something? You can't use okay. a water bottle? Logically. You, can, you, use think a water you should bottle. have anything glass in the engine bay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking dumb? Why not? The takeover kids do it. <laughs> Bro. Actually, y'all got the, my honey. The, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the sta- um, in the Volkswagen like uh, Stancy scene. Oh yeah. I used to have a uh, Audi. That was my first. Audi. 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 <laughs> but uh, I, I remember like a bunch of like golfs and 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 Jettas and shit. Would, like have a super tucked bay and then have like a honey bottle. That's Bro. dope. They're not fucking drifting, though. I mean, is that smart to have in the car anyway? Probably fucking not. But, well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Can you use a water bottle? Guys, chime in. Let us know if you can use a water bottle. I mean, would you want to use a water bottle? I feel like you, you could, right, Chris? If, if, you, if you make a hole in the cap and you... Capacity limit? Out of all people to think about this, I didn't think that you would be the one. I don't know, man. You know, some people are broke. Okay, fine. Whatever. Get a get get a coolant overflow tank. Get a broke coolant ass. overflow tank. <laughs> all right. Why, why doesn't Number your car four. have one? What the fuck? Because it broke. I got a 240. They all break. <laughs> Wait, don't you sell those? Yeah, I sell like three different ones. GK Check 10. out the Faction Motorsports website. Check out the website, factionmotorsports.com. Yeah, <laughs> getting that raffle. All right, number four, gas cap must be present. Imagine you're just drifting with your gas cap off. Dude. <laughs> What's that smell, yo? <laughs> bro, don't, don't, I don't. I see people doing that shit. Bro. Don't, don't mess around, okay? You know we, you know our boy that we all know and love, Derek. Oh, no. Let on me the tell bicycle. You, let me tell you. Uh, Derek on the bicycle? Yeah. Oh, Let Lord. me tell you. Let me tell you. Derek, if you're listening to this. <laughs> I hope he is. I hope you're in your truck and that you're running into some fucking crazy shit that we're going to see on your story. But anyway, Derek had this 5 Series. You go, Do you guys remember the 5 Series? It was literally... I do. Yep. Green, like oh, huge. I don't like, that, I don't but whatever. Derek used to hug this thing. This thing was bone stock. I think it might have had a welded, but anyway, that's not the point of the story. The point of the story is, is one day he popped the gas cap. We're getting gas. I look in there. Man's has got like a cork or something. <laughs> something <laughs> on there. He's got a cork as or a gas something, cap? Something. Something. It was a cork from a Henny bottle. <laughs> <laughs> A cork I don't know what it was. It was in. It wasn't a gas cap. I'll tell you that much. Oh man! And I was like, "Bro, what is that?" And he's like, "Gas cap." Went. That's just a rag in case I gotta dump the car. And <laughs> all right. Um, all fluid hoses must be the proper hose to use for the what? Um, <laughs> basically, make sure your rubber hoses are not broken. All right, moving on. Make sure you got the right fuel injection hose. Didn't you go over that in the video? Yes, we R9? did. Yes. 30R9, we sell it here. By the foot. Come get some. Um, this is very important. This is another uh, important one. They will be checking stuff like this. Um, you can use your... If you have a stock car with stock fuel lines... Stock engine. Stock engine that's not from, like, 1981, then you should be okay. Not, okay. SR swaps don't count. That's a swap. That... Yeah, but still, like a KA, a stock 240 with a KA, they might they might yeah. want you to change that. Honestly, it's not even that expensive, nor is it a difficult Let me be upgrade. honest with the people right now. If you have a stock car and you cannot see the fuel lines, you're probably fine. Yeah, but... Uh, That's uh, probably... You just said a KA, though. Like You a, can see a, those. A majority of our audience has, like, S chassis or... Like, sort uh, of like let's car. say you have you have an FRS or a BRZ. Matt, you're, you're good. You probably don't need to change those. Use, those. use those fuel clamps. But I'm saying the stock ones are probably fine. Like, a lot of those cars, the stock lines are fine. If you have a modified car and you change the fuel lines, like, that's when you need to worry about this. Chances are, I'd hope you you had already looked into that, you know? Well, I think this rule references to fuel lines with a clamp on it. Yeah. Because some like, cars have a quick disconnect. Yeah, that probably yeah, is what I, it is. Like, like, on the IS, I have <laughs> the fuel line is a banjo bolt. Like it's a it's a mm-hmm. hard line. Like mm-hmm. it's it's a rubber hose with a bolt on it direct to the same thing with the one J. Yeah. So what I, I'm gonna keep going through this list, but I'm only gonna go I'm only gonna mention the things that uh basically I'm only gonna mention what factory ish cars would have a problem with. A, a good example of things I'm not gonna mention are gonna be uh any coolant or oil lines passing through the car must be protected by, from contact by the driver or passenger. 
meaning like if you have a radiator in your trunk or something like that, I'm not going in, into that. If you if you got a fully custom like race car, you should definitely know this rule book inside and out. So we're not going to be covering things like that. Yeah, this, that's what I'm saying. Like if you're building something to that caliber, I'd hope you have some yeah. sort of background. <laughs> yeah, you got to. I <laughs> hope. I hope you're going off the rule book. This isn't fucking Legos, <laughs> and you're just you're not in your garage just building this. Yeah, I'm gonna kill it next season. And, and then you Yo, get there and you literally fit everything fails. I'm gonna kill the fucking game with this thing. Bro. Yeah, your cage fails, your firewall fails, your radiator fails. Booger you have no ass welds on that <laughs> shit. The cage is PVC. The cage is PVC. <laughs> you have nah, no nah, eight bamboo, pillar bars. bamboo, bamboo cage. Yeah, just make sure if you're if you're one of those guys that's just sitting in a garage for the last five years building a car, uh, make sure you're reading this because it does change occasionally too. So you don't want to be doing all this work and then you you know you can't even pass tech. Chinese bamboo, very strong. Okay, <laughs> do not use bamboo. You guys know the reference rush hour too. What about cedar? Cedar wood. <laughs> Exhaust must be present and exit outside the body. 95 decibel max. Mm, debatable. Debatable, but make sure your car is not loud. No straight pipe VQs. <laughs> Damn, that's kind of targeting a specific uh, group. I there, mean... Right? <laughs> Everybody knows. Everyone it. knows. It's not a secret. That's <laughs> 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 what it sounds like. You gotta, see, you gotta see Hector on grid when, when the VQ goes. He's like... Damn. <laughs> no, the funnier part is that his sons are doing that too. <laughs> like, oh I'm like, guys, god. close your ears. Yeah. Come, oh. Close your ears, close your eyes. Oh my god, Come. dude. That's the worst. Get inside, get inside. <laughs> hide, hide, hide. <laughs> All right, next big one that everyone fails for battery tie down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Carl still doesn't have a battery tie down. He has it, it's just not in. It's in the car. Oh. All right, well, Maybe I'll put it in after this podcast. Tie your batteries down, people. Come on. You know what talking that shit about where the sale is not here. Get a tie down. <laughs> Get a tie down. Um, what else? Oh, if you have a rear-mounted battery, you need a vented battery box. Unless you have a sealed battery. I literally did not know about the vented part of that. Yeah, it's got to be vented. Uh, like, a popular option that I see on a lot of cars is, like, a battery box they got at Harbor Freight. It's yeah, literally, it's literally just a box. I know they used to sell one on like Summit. Yeah, I think like it's that. the same exact uh, design. Taylor. Regardless, it doesn't have a vent. What are you supposed to put a hole saw to that? Put a fucking vent tube to a it? A lot of the battery boxes come with grommets and everything to set the vent up however you want. Oh, really? I installed one once on my S14 That's back in the day. Have on your website. That's a good idea, Chris. I'll make a note of it. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor box. I'll pencil that in, you know. Yeah, put a pin in it. Yeah. I I'll, I'll get that done right away. Yes, Chris. I personally <laughs> <laughs> I personally like <laughs> I personally like running an Optima battery cuz you don't have to run a battery box. Yeah. They also make really cool brackets for the Optima battery if you want to get bougie with it where it, you know, it's literally fitted for the Optima Optima battery. Plus you battery. love spending money, so it works out. Yeah, it's kind of crazy because I don't have any of that. So. <laughs> Fuck. All right. How does that work? Uh what else? What else? Brake lights must work. You said at least two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Two brake lights must work. Um, not tail lights. Brake, brake light. lights. And you know what? They're probably not even going to check this. So we're on the honor system here. So make sure they work. If you're an A group. You can't rely on definitely them going sure they like, you're, they're not even going to check this. I mean, I haven't drifted in three years. They might be checking this whole list now. I don't know. Yeah, Pops. Yeah, I really don't know. <laughs> pops? New age box. <laughs> Hazard lights at front and rear must be operational. Hazard switch must be located in cabin and in reach of driver. <laughs> I think that's the way. I think the, the, the like little notes are funny. Like, in reach of driver. Where the fuck else are you going to have a hazard? The for? fact that they had to write that means they've seen <laughs> Somebody something. Somebody probably had that shit. Yeah. In yeah, it's in the trunk. Box. Yo, put your hazards on. Put your hazards I can't reach it. I can't reach it. <laughs> I got to go outside and turn them on it's myself. In the, it's in the glove box. I got to turn them on myself. <laughs> go outside of the car. Hits it once. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so an OE key must be... Mu- OE key must completely shut off car immediately. If OE key assembly is not used, a kill switch must be used to immediately shut off the car. It needs to be accessible from outside of the car, and the location needs to be clearly marked. 
No one's corrected our video on this yet, so I'm going to assume I was right. I, I think you Did were Did you put correct. that in the video or no? Yes. Yeah. I think so you So what I said in the video was um, the kill switch can be inside as well, but it's got to be accessible from the outside of the car, meaning if I lean in through the driver's seat, can I can reach? grab it. Yeah, you, you have to yeah. be able to grab it. I'm assuming that's what that means. Uh, Makes I sense could be that wrong. Way. But probably preferably not like a strenuous lean where you have to be like, Ugh. Yeah, if you, ha if you have a setup like this, you should be... Co contacting them directly and clearing that up so that's number five in lighting and electrical um make sure your wiring is good <clears throat> don't come with some backyard special fire hazard vehicle I, th I think i think hector talked about the kill switch what do you say being accessible from the outside it could be inside but it's got to be really close to the window oh, okay. yeah remember that uh remember that white s13 that came here with the one jz no wait s14 s14 yeah, yeah. yeah it was on the passenger side Right next to the Which window. is still okay. That's okay. Because yeah. it's outside, right? Yeah, but it's like really outside. accessible for anybody outside to yeah. touch it. Is, is it marked? I mean, they want them to be marked. Well, it was like a big red Yeah, switch. it's usually a oh, big okay. ass button or key or something. Like, you turn, yeah. like, I wonder what that does. Yeah, the whole point of this is <laughs> you're trying to make it easier for the track workers. Yeah. That's pretty much yeah. all this is, so. And your own safety as well. Yeah, but in case something does happen and. You know where you're say you're knocked out and you can, they got to reach it if you're not yeah out. and that and another uh another thing to mention would be tow hooks they would like them to be marked i know a lot of us don't want to do that including me but it does help if they're marked and they know where they are yeah so uh suspension section pretty much just goes over you not having a piece of shit car you make sure the ball joints are good make sure the wheel bearings are good uh steering must be smooth Lug nuts should be there. Yep, they sh the lug nuts should be there. Uh, and properly torqued down. If you're missing lug nuts and you're saying to yourself, yeah, that's a perfect one for... You think they'll they'll see that? You think they'll notice that? We'll yeah, they'll this notice. this one onto the wheel itself. <laughs> yeah, they're going to notice. So why don't you just take care of that now? So that you're not that really embarrassing guy that loses a wheel when he takes off from grid. Oh. That is literally why I did my ball joints in the IS. Then you then you fuck the track up and and someone's got to come put your car in a flatbed or something. And your car's totally that, that shit ain't getting forklift. fixed. Forklift? Yeah, they're gonna forklift your ass off the track. So get your lug nuts straightened out. Um, of course we got the black wheels number five. No black wheels. It's my favorite. I I can't believe that's actually that in is there. not my favorite. My favorite is car should not look like a bag of dicks. I like that one too. Yeah, that's my favorite rule. Um. No black. The black wheels no thing is, no is basically an ongoing joke, but, you know, take it for what it is. You know, I, I, I've seen some co cool cars on some black wheels, you know. Yeah, I've seen some too. Yeah. It's rare, though. Yeah. I mean, this was written, that was written back in like 2008 to 2010 when yeah. everyone was putting black wheels on their yeah. cars. And this not just drift cars. Like, every car was like murdered out and like oh. all that shit. And all the cars were just matte black. Yep. You ever you ever watch yeah. the movie Cars, a Disney movie? No. Fantastic movie. Yeah, I'm going to recommend that to you, first of all. Second, in that movie, there's like... Do you know any of the characters? It's just like a little, little like Fiat-looking thing. He's like a tire owner. He's like, my name's Luigi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so he, he goes... Uh, oh, oh, you're going to love this. He, go, he goes... Uh, black wheels, they blend with the pavement. <laughs> White wheels, they say, look at me! Like, and ever since I heard that rule, I've been like, yo, that motherfucker was on something. <laughs> You're right. He correct. Okay, that's one way to look yeah. at it. Go go look that up. It's a great movie if you haven't watched Cars. Yeah. That's very true. Blaine with the pigment. Yeah, that, that's why I'm like, yeah, you can't see that shit. Why am I going to spend like 3K on black wheels? Yeah, I mean, to each their own, but yeah, you're going to buy black wheels. Like, yeah, I just spent two grand on some wheels. They're black. Can't even see what can't they see are. Them. Can't see them when they're when they're on the car at all. I like very neutral color wheels, like silver, white, yes, gray, yes. Not, not, nothing crazy. Body and glass section. Body panels are required. Ooh, that's my favorite rule. Body panels are required. Body panels are required. What, so show up without a fucking car on a car. Yeah. So <laughs> when you show up with you know, you ain't got no car the whole car. rear end cut off, you can see your fuel cell. You got no fenders, no side skirts. Like those cars on TikTok. I thought I've seen cars like that. You definitely have because they don't they don't enforce that rule. Did, did but I'm enforcing it. Did all you right? see this like three three fifty three seventy something something like that on TikTok? He like beefed his car, started to go fund me, 
And that rear half of it is like caged or exoskeleton looking thing. I don't know why. Imagine that's... you paid for that. I, I thought it was people. funny because like you, you beefed it. You know, suck it up and build it back up. But he was like, damn, got to get money for it. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, <clears throat> yeah, basically what they're saying in this rule is they would like you to come to the track with a complete car. If something happens while you're drifting, that has nothing to do with this rule. If something breaks and you got to get, you know, throw it to the side, that's fine. Um, but it would be nice if you came to the track with a complete car. Yeah. Uh, then the tow hooks, um, tow hook rules in here. Uh, we'll go into this again. Um, if you have factory tow hooks, like let's let's say an S13. An S13 has three factory tow hooks, right? Yeah. Two in the front, one in the back. Um, if you have stock bumpers, these are pretty accessible. It literally sticks out of it, I think. The rear one does. Yeah. The front doesn't the stick out, but they know where it is. Yeah. So that, that'll work. Now, if you have a body kit on your car <laughs> and you think you don't need tow hooks like me, what's going to happen is they're just going to break your body kit. So you got to be prepared for that. If you're prepared for that, then you're good. If you don't want that to happen, then you better figure out a different tow hook setup. If you're prepared for that, I'd like your phone number so I can get a dollar from you because <laughs> you're clearly rich. That's me. <laughs> I'll never put a red ass tow hook on my car. It doesn't have to be red though. What the fuck? But this was back. I don't know, man. I haven't drifted in a while. You literally drifted like two weeks ago. No, but I haven't like drifted oh, my own oh, car, oh, gone oh. off the track, and been in a situation where it's like I'm about to get my car ripped yeah. apart by a truck. When was the last time that happened to you? Back when I could literally just get out of my car and rip my bumper off. So I never cared. But now I'm pretty sure you cannot get out of the car at all. I think if the track right? is dead, you can't. I think if, if they pull up and you talk to them, they might let you out. But it just make sure I would just keep communication with the fucking yeah. track worker. Like, hey, is it all right if I get out? Like, but don't say no, don't go like, off of do as I say, not as I do. Because I don't uh, sometimes I'm, I'm not the best at following all these rules. And that, that would be one time where I think I'm not doing the right thing. You're such a rebel, dude. No, I just don't want. I just don't want a tow hook hanging out of my bumper. That's pretty much it. But you should. Where you don't look good. I'm trying, really picture, I'm trying to picture what okay. Brady's car would look like with a tow hook. Yeah, with a tow hook sticking out the front? <laughs> Yikes. Probably so cool, man. Everyone's going to know it's a race But car. that brings me to my next point. Hector had a good uh, idea with the tow strap. He said just get a tow strap, tie it up. Like, I could, I could probably do this too. If I tied a tow strap up by my bash bar and tied it with a zip tie... And yeah. then they went in there and they grabbed it and they pulled it out. The, the zip tie would break and then there's a strap. Yeah. And that might work better than putting I'm a, a dangle out there. whole oh, thing under oh, my body. Oh, just so kit. you don't see it? Uh, so you don't see it and it might be in a better spot to not break the bumper. Uh, but if you go underneath the whole bumper on I'd a 240... Want, I'd want a strap, personally. Um, they sell them here at Faction Motorsports if you oh, don't yeah, have one, them. if you're interested in one. I'm, yeah, we got, we got them because of... Right uh, we got them because of Hector. Yeah, the race quick. Race quick, well, race quick ones. I think they're like, what, a foot long or something? I like them because, yes, it gives them, one, a better place for you to grab it without having to be like, you know, like cut the bumper and have like a metal one or whatever. Yeah. So I like the I like the cloth. Or not cloth. or Whatever the fuck it's made out of. Kevlar. Kevlar. Just kidding. I have no idea. Is it? I, I don't know. It's All right. Sort of. um, hood and trunk must be secured. Yeah, no shit. But... It should be mentioned because shit people happens. probably go there with loose. Shit happens, dude. You ever hoods. you always see like a two forty with the hatch just like bouncing around. Yeah, or you see Tom Nazaro with the hood flying up as he enters first turn. Accidents oh. happen every event. <laughs> Didn't GK Tech like design a product just for Tom? It was like that safety strap that like, goes on the hood. They I know they they mailed one to him. They're like, you need this. What? I just sent one to him. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh yeah, yeah, he does have it on. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, because there was a video of his hood just flying off on the highway. <laughs> I don't know who caught that. That was literally. Oh yeah, he was driving home. Which or way? or uh, going somewhere. <laughs> yeah. On, on by by E Town. Um, number four, windshield must be free of cracks. Yeah, we talked about that. Make we sure your windshield. You know, make sure you got no cracks on your windshield. There are exceptions. Read the rule book. I'm not going to go into them now. Read the rule book if you want to, you know, look for exceptions for your cracked windshield. 
Um, you need all your all your windows. Windshield, rear window, fixed side windows must be present. Um, door windows must be operational. This fixed side windows must be present. Interesting. What did it say? Yeah, it's well, a little confusing. Talking to yourself over there? Because it says <laughs> it says windshield, rear window, and fixed side windows must be present. Door windows must be operational if installed. So I don't think you need door windows. They're, they're, they're talking about like. Rear quarter, like quarter glass. You like need your quarter glass. Yeah. You don't need your door windows. If they're if they, not there. If they're not there. But if they are there, they need, they to, need work. to work. They need to work. That okay. doesn't make sense. Why the hell would you want the windows to not work and yeah. then you're drifting where it's hot? Bugging. Rule number six, cars should not look like a bag of dicks. Just got to say it again. One of your favorite rules, Frankie. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, <laughs> then we dive into the roll cage area, which is A group, A group cars. Um... Again, we dive into this in the video, so just check it out. But uh, all yeah, the rules—I can't even chime in there. I, I wish I had a cage or something. It's—it's it's not that crazy, but you—they need to know. You know, they need to read this before they have someone make them a cage, and it doesn't apply. Yep. So, yep, got to make sure of that. Harnesses and seats—that is another area that you should definitely read up on if you. Let's say you have a stock seat belt but you have a bucket seat you should definitely read this section yeah to make I, sure I, I like I, I kind of explained briefly how to route it uh, it's probably going to be the same for every car just yeah or, or maybe not I don't know but literally just route it correctly check out the video and I explained it yeah route it through the hole in the seat um, if you have a stock seat belt but you can do that you can use a bucket seat and a stock seat belt which is good because you're gonna need that bucket seat that's probably one of the first mods you should do. Frankie loves that bucket seat. He's like the top, top mod. That is a top mod, man. Yeah, I mean, I never really thought and about maybe it, but yeah, it and a changes, changes everything. Yeah. Um, a group needs containment seats or head restraint seats or a Hans device, either or. Oh. So if you're an A group, you're going to need one of that. One of those. Um, okay, so that takes care of that. Uh, B group additional requirements. What? Yes. Yeah, you oh, didn't know about just... this, did you? No. All right. B group. These requirements are in addition to the other vehicle requirements listed above. Car must have coilovers or semi. You got it. <laughs> you could say it. Sound it out. <laughs> similar. <laughs> I'm just going to make it easier for myself. Similar design suspension setup. Lowering springs are not allowed. Let me tell you. I'm gonna call cap on that. They I probably wouldn't. They probably wouldn't check that. Uh, yeah. I I, I, I kind of argue about that. There's like a good. There's some good spring on strut setups out there. Yeah. No. I don't think. I, I don't think they're really being strict on that. I think what they're trying to say is like, you shouldn't have a stock. No. You should like, not have a stock car. Crazy roll. Mm, unpredictable. Yeah. They don't car. want you to like. Yeah. You, they, there's there's some sort of expectation from you now at yeah. this point. But they're. <laughs> I'm just thinking about that truck with leaf springs on it. Remember? It was drifting. <laughs> there was a truck with leaf springs? Yeah. <laughs> it was a pickup truck, and it was just rolling everywhere. Just <laughs> was he in B group? No, it was C group, but still. Well, he'll be there for a minute. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it also says, no VLSDs or factory diffs allowed. Again, the reason they're saying this is because it, it's unpredictable. It's not that good of a setup. Basically, all this section is about is how to get you not to spin out. That's why they're telling you all this. Yeah. Th if you're in B group, you should not be spinning out. A VLSD, though sometimes it functions great. I know Mike's car is yeah, they might. fifty. Sometimes they function great. Again, this was kind of written. I, I guarantee you this rulebook was written with S chassis in mind. Yeah, like an S13 VLSD yeah. is sucks. Like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. It, they'd say they want clutch type or welded diffs. That's what they want. And it says required. For the record, all cars must have a working e-brake. Can be OE or aftermarket hydraulic. Basically, again, if you're in B group, get your yeah, shit together. Yeah, like, if you're in B group, yeah. chances are you're using that handbrake. Like, yeah, C not. group, you can come with whatever the hell you want. Just make sure you pass the rules. B group, it's time to step it up a little bit. And then they got A group additional requirements: six-point roll cage with harness bar, door bars. 
Um, and then the head restraint, containment, seat, whatever, Hans device, whatever you want to run, but you need you need one of those. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this section too. It says, remember, drifting is fun. These rules and requirements are in place so that we can ensure a safe environment for having fun. All rules must be met in order to participate in the events. Anything found to be unsafe or questionable by tech inspectors will be reviewed and decided upon by staff. If deemed unsafe by the staff, the car will not be allowed to run. The decision will be final. If the infraction is minor and not a safety concern, the driver may be given the chance to fix the issue after the event. No exceptions will be made at the event. No refunds for lost track time due to inability to meet these requirements, which we also went over in, you know. Yeah, don't expect a refund if you fail tech, basically. Um, <laughs> yeah. What? Now I zoned out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Just don't be got, a, just like follow the rules and like um like well, they also got all their emails attached here and what? they say please email us if you have any questions. So Huh, that's nice. Oh, here we go. Revision history. Initial release was two thousand twelve. Damn. Which Sheesh. to be honest seems wrong to me, but I feel like it was earlier than that. What well, like I guess not. Forty nine BC? Maybe they made like a different <laughs> a different rule book. Seven. Not too Yeah. Eighty-four. <laughs> and then they got the they got the checklist. Print these check pr print this checklist out. You'll be good. Bring it with you every time you go to an event. <coughs> Chris, well, you got anything to say? Check it off. Uh, if you're still unsure of whether your car is going to pass tech or not, just bring it to faction. Ooh, we'll look at the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, they provide that service here. Chris with the hot take. They pro Frankie provided one for me free of charge. That was just, just that was just for me though. Yeah, what? <laughs> yeah, come on down, it's free! <laughs> and, for, and for the sake of the video, just help y'all. <laughs> I can't see anything. How about... I can't see. How about we... Oh, shit. How about okay. we not? Frankie's pulling up some questions here. <laughs> yeah. I am? Oh, what's... On his phone. There's a few. Let's... There, we got a couple. From Whoa. the questions, let's see who and who didn't watch the YouTube video. Because people are probably asking questions that were answered in the YouTube video. Oh, okay. Ooh. What happens if you bring black wheels? You will be shot on sight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. End of the question. Next. Is that a real question? They'll make yeah. you paint them. Do they allow four-wheel drive? I would say yes. There's nothing in here. There isn't. No. That says anything about... Yeah, but that's just like, do they allow front-wheel drive? Yeah, I would say yes. Yeah. You think so? Yeah, I do. They're going to laugh at you, and so are we. But Until you, you see it. a Civic, e, a EF Civic coming around. <laughs> Until you see me whip this Civic. swinging big angle. <laughs> yeah. And Frankie can't keep up. I remember there was one year there was a, a motorcycle drifting on track. That was what? scary During as a club fuck. Yeah, that, what? that, that, that yeah, did yeah, happen. I remember that. that was it happened. like a Harley or something? No, nah, it was a sport it, bike. It was a sport bike. Sport bike. <laughs> and he could not link the track. I mean, I'll give, him, I'll give him props, though. That that shit is hard. It looks scary as fuck. What is he preparing for? I don't know. What? <laughs> what? He's preparing for the future. Yeah, what movie role is he auditioning? It was Tom Cruise, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going through this. I don't see anything about rear-wheel drive. So, yes, if you got front-wheel drive and you want to make a fool out of yourself, come on down. Well, the question was four-wheel drive. If you have four-wheel drive and you want to attempt to drift, which, hey, it might work. I don't know. Dude, you got to... Yeah, you... <laughs> That's a different breed. <laughs> like, you ever see a four-wheel drive skid into, like, a hairpin? It's like... You gotta go fast. You're going hell. fast. Yeah. One, two, it's a lot of, like... And you're, like, not counter-steering. Right? Best of luck to you, Some man. Leadership. Hope to see you out there. Hope to see you swinging it. I tried to drift a corner once in STI. Spun right around. <laughs> right in the middle of the street. My neck! <laughs> I'm like, hold on, gotta... T hold on, give me a minute. What's up the story with Pat? Oh, what? Oh, my the roommate? GCA. Dude, like, we were going down an off-ramp. Big, like, clover-looking off-ramp. Right, big, and and it's raining and it's a downhill and this thing just kicks out and I'm shitting my pants in the passenger seat. I just met this kid in college, like I was like, dude, we're gonna die. Ninety four GC eight. Ninety four GC eight, beautiful car. Uh, floors it completely rotates like something else I've ever ever experienced than a rear wheel drive car. Scared shitless. Finn, end of story. That was scary. We were good, though. We didn't hit a curve or nothing. Amazing driving skill. Wow, right dangerous there. driving. Dangerous street driving. Dangerous stuff. But it was an accident waiting to happen. He corrected it. That close was Close course. It was on the close course. Close course. Anyway, that was from, uh, that question was from uh, a Mormon fanatic. Ooh. Oh, he bring the evil out? 
Yeah, oh, he's, he's trying to the, trying to bring the, the evil. He's bringing, he bringing the CT. Is that the engine and or body code for that? It's Brad like CT10. Brad Roach, five eighteen, asks, "When can we drift the faction Crustidas together?" Well, probably never. No. Um. <laughs> Uh, probably soon, right? I mean, Miyagi was gonna do freedom moves, but he's got, he's got plans, so he can't do he's that. He's got what? Plans. Oh. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what he's doing, but it says he can't make it. So probably soon. Uh, why is SR twenty God's motor? Jake Parrish. Hey, Amen. Dude, God named it himself. <laughs> yeah. That is a speaking of Jake Parrish. Uh, if anybody was watching the gambler, he did pretty well for his first. E Dude, I love watching Jake's. I follow him on Instagram. He doesn't yeah, know I a, exist, He's a though, monster. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Something's up with that boy. He's fucking awesome. He's a like, monster out there. Yeah, yeah Jake, me. you tell us why SR20 is God's motor. How about that? <laughs> uh, who annoys... What annoys the OG guys at the track that newcomers do? Driving, staging, pits, pit etiquette. That's a really good question. Dude, that speeding through the pits. That's one. Who 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 asked that? Mikey Triana. Okay. Dude, yeah. speeding through the pits is one. I know a lot of people get pissed There's about that. There's a million that. things. As, like aside from like, this is my pet peeve about it. If you're speeding through the pits, you're you're one a danger to everybody walking around. Two, the dust just gets fucking picked up mm. and it just swirls around and fucking just I mean, like if you're if you uh, if you're speeding through the Pits, you're probably gonna get kicked out. Yeah, I would immediately. So. Like, yeah, they yeah. don't really put up with any of that. Yeah. Uh, another one is we just talked about it, leaking fluids. Yeah. Ouch. If you're leaking fluids on the track, yeah, that's gonna annoy everyone because yeah. now you just now you pretty much just killed the half hour. Of and the, the spin out rule. Yeah, if, if you're in B always... group or A group and you're spinning out every lap, that's yeah, a problem. That's a problem. You need to figure and that you're out. You're holding up people else's seat time. Everyone else's seat time. Spinning out, spinning out once in a while, that's fine. But I got one. Not every lap. For newcomers, you know I've seen a lot? They spin out, and they do a full donut. Oh, like they don't even... Wasting like 30 seconds. They don't no, even no, like the let it finish they, spinning when out. When they do a full donut, and then they spin out again. Yeah. Oh, no. That's when... I, I, I gotta like, say, okay. like, I'm at fault. Sometimes I'm sp I'm spinning, and I'm like, damn, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to just lay on it and turn around. Till you spin again. Well, now after, that, af like after that, I'm driving off. Like, yeah. I just, I just. Get well, you should be driving off either way. It's this is, a, that that is an unspoken rule. I'm it's a hot sure. track. Like, I gotta get the fuck off. Yeah, if you're in C group and you and you spin, and you're you burn out. you're pretty much supposed to drive off the track. Yeah. If if you if you spin and then you continue to try to drift the track and you spin again people are going to hate you so a lot of time if you you know if you spin on the first turn okay fine you could try the rest of the track but if you spin on like the hairpin or if you're on backtrack <coughs> backtrack doesn't count because it's literally three turns but you know if you spin out and you try to continue drifting and then you spin out again it's just more and more time you're adding to this. Like, if you just spun out the first time and drove off track and got everything, you know, and you just took a fresh lap, it would have saved some time for everyone. So I would say that's definitely a pet peeve. Uh, that is something they mentioned in the driver's meeting. If you spin out once, okay, you still have a chance to finish the course. You spin out twice, do not drift again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, def if you, if you spin out the second time, don't even try it again because now you're just wasting time. So what annoys the OG guys at the track? What annoys the OG guys at the track? Well, the OG guys at the track are pretty much the track workers at this point. So, what annoys them? No battery tie-downs. Cracked windshields. <laughs> not following the rules. Yeah, not reading the rule book before you come. That's what's going to piss them off. Uh, I mean, I can't really think of anything else, really. You know, d don't be scared to ask people for help, too. I mean, no one's going to attack you if you Yeah, if you need well, help we're some. saying all this shit, but realistically, if you have a question, ask somebody a question. Yeah, just don't, make sure you read assume. the rules and you're, you know, you know what you're doing. All right, that, I guess that covers that. Um, you mentioned option last episode. Opinions on more American grip slash JDM insider slash etc. Oh. Like option video of, of 2000s, yeah, yeah. yeah. like video. old, like old option videos yeah. that were U.S. state sign. Yeah, is that a, is that a name of a American? Yeah, you just say an American. Studium Insider. That seems like an actual thing, though. 
JDM Insider does not sound like an actual thing. That does JDM not. Insider what is do you think that is? A newspaper? <laughs> kind of confused by this question. Just watch option videos. <laughs> 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 they do have America ones though. They took, they were on the streets of Willow. Yeah. P- opinions Willow, on more maybe uh, maybe yeah, opinions on more stuff. videos or types of videos, is what he's saying. I mean anything anything old drifting in, in Japan especially is going to be awesome. So. Should probably check all that stuff out. Um, and they that, were drifting without angle at that time. Yeah, I love watching that. Like the no angle. That's why I was so hesitant yeah. on getting an angle kit. Like, I'm yeah, like, well, you just have knuckles though. That's not like crazy. Yeah, but it was drifting fine stock. Yeah, but a lot of those people had modified knuckles too, and maybe in like old a videos. Bit. Maybe like a little, like a cut knuckle. You mean in the early 2000s? Yeah. Like, I mean, regardless, like I'm pretty excited. Basically, to you're test. saying you just don't want to watch Wi-Fi. Wise Fab. That's what you don't want. to I think that's kind of cheating. Me it's not cheating. It's just boring to me. I don't know if I'm live track today. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was a cognitive behavioral behavior. I can't fucking speak, man. Sorry, dude. <laughs> that was cognitive. <laughs> that right. was cognitive. Marty from the track. Where's your engine? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, <laughs> we're in the warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A couple <laughs> SR 20s pull premium. One week before freedom moves. <laughs> <laughs> Why are open face helmets not allowed in Club Loose, New Jersey? Um, that is a state problem. That's a state police issue. That's not Club Loose trying to be dicks about it. That's just New Jersey. All right. So just following the rules. State police come down once in a while. They go over everything. They check out the events. They look over. They're like, oh, yeah, you guys aren't doing this. You guys aren't doing that. And wow. uh, you can get fined for that stuff. So. That's why these rules. That's why these new rules always pop up. So yeah, that that was eighty nine Kev. Does a battery need a sealed box if it's in a trunk? Yes. Not like your hatch in a coupe. Yes, like in an FRS. Oh, he's saying he's saying in a coupe. Either way, the bat. If it's in your car, I'm just gonna go off the rule book. If it's if it's in the trunk of your car, whether it's a hatch or a coupe, and it's vented, and it's it's a vented battery. It needs to be in a box. Yep. Yeah. A sealed box with a vent. If it's an Optima battery or something like that, then you're good. That was image.jpg. Image.jpg, but J like that's some guy's J-A-Y. name. Yeah. Clever. And that was it. <laughs> clever. 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 Okay, cool. That's all the questions, and we have to go. So that's it. We're done. Yeah, it was good. Good episode, guys. I really yeah. enjoyed being here today. Yeah, did you enjoy it? Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, guys, let yeah. us know if uh, you enjoyed Malcolm's presence. Oh, you know what? Damn. If you made it this far, I have another uh, Easter egg comment. Welcome back, Malcolm. Oh, shucks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what do Thank we got you so on? much, guys. Yeah. Wet Fest, Week Fest. We'll week be there. Fest. Oh, uh, yeah. August 28th, this Sunday from... Oh, God. I don't know the time. I think it's... I forget. Oh, the shirts? No, he's not coming today. Oh. Yeah, I, I just talked to him. The shirt. We're getting new shirts uh, tomorrow, too, so we'll be posting those up. Restock, restock. Restock. No, there's a new shirt. Oh, there's a new shirt? Yeah, there's one new shirt. Oh, a new shirt coming. It has yeah. IS-300 on it? No. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll have new shirts at the event. It's Chris's favorite event of the year. It is. It is, right? Yeah, I knew it was. Well, car show. Also, yeah. in the comments, can you guys let us know, is it Weak Fest or Weck Fest? Dude, people have been hitting me up and trying to tell it's me. Strong Fest. <laughs> We're going to ask the organizers when we get there. Yeah. Is it Weck or Weak? Somebody tell me. Okay, Probably Weck. General admission from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Where is it? Edison, New Jersey at the Edison Convention, Convention Center. Center. Cool. I'll be there. See you there. Um, <laughs> what else? I'll be there as if, like, we are not going to Well, I guess there. I'll say this now. What, what uh, since I've been doing this all day, uh, throttle cable brackets for S13, SR20 swaps. We made them. They're coming. Um, more info on that next week, probably. But they're already on the website, so if you want to go grab one, feel free. I love it. They're, it's a cool piece. Yeah. It's stainless steel. It's pretty nice. I wish I had that 10 years ago when I swapped my first SR because I was hella confused <laughs> with that throttle cable. It's like, this doesn't fit. I'm, like, trying to make things. So what would you use? I modified the SR cable. I cut the SR cable, bent it down, and, like, mounted it above the threads on the cable. 
Uh. It was not good. And it was still like that till I took my motor out. My cable's over there on the ground, and you can see how it was mounted. It was really sketchy. Damn. Wow. So, I'm very unlike you. Yeah, you know. So we finally fixed that problem. Um, so, yeah, that's the new product we have. And don't forget, we're doing a raffle this month. Stan's Coilovers uh, for an S13 SR20. Brand new. Um, every dollar spent on the website is a dollar is an entry entered into the raffle, which ends the 31st of this month. That is literally like nine days, eight days like away. A little over a week. Yeah. Got a little over a week left until you can't enter anymore. Yeah, and we there's still not that many orders. You still have a good chance. Like, yeah. But obviously, more money spent, the better chance. So if you were waiting on those fenders um, or a body kit order, first of all, you, sh- you should put those orders in immediately anyway if you want to get them you know, this decade. But uh, now would be a good time because you might win some coilovers. All right, that's it. That's all I got. All right. Thank, Thank you, you, ladies guys. and gentlemen. Yeah. We always appreciate the support. Give us some ideas for next episode. Yeah, please. Message the Instagram with ideas. Like, flood it. Yes. All right, guys, we're out. All right, cue the outro music. Peace.